Hi, Matt Cummins. Hello. Where do you see NC's uh, simulation technology heading in the next few years? Well, really, we have two driving factors in our uh, product development, and it's really driven by what our customer needs are. And the first thing is scale, size. People want to solve bigger, larger systems, have a more comprehensive analysis of, uh, of say, for example, a wireless environment. And no more do our, our customers satisfied with just solving the antenna. They want to solve the antenna in its surrounding environment on its platform. Um, so going bigger is important. And recently, in fact, just last week, Ansys acquired a company, Dell Cross Technologies, that actually has probably the leading uh, high-frequency solver for very large-scale simulations. So it's a big commitment on Ansys's part to, to head in that direction. Another similar type of uh, issue in scalability is, is an issue of complexity. People want more and more detail in their analysis. They don't want to make compromises in terms of uh, how accurate the representation of their geometry is. So uh, we have to have more robust solvers, solvers that can uh, handle larger problems, uh, meshers that can mesh larger geometries. And uh, that's really important for us. And so uh, you know, we're looking at new algorithms to speed up the simulation process, uh, looking at all parts of our simulation process to make sure they can be faster, uh, more scalable, uh, make sure we can leverage HPC hardware as effectively as possible, including GPU. So that's, that's a really important aspect, size and complexity. The other thing driving, driving our product development is, uh, is really design flow automation. So these simulation tools are very complex. They do some very sophisticated physics calculations. And the engineers be, need to be able to access this power. Uh, we can't make it difficult for them to set up the simulation and solve because they're under a lot of pressure to, to develop and produce their designs quickly. So automating as much of the design flow process as possible is very, very important. And recently we've developed some very customized interfaces for layout-based design for package and PCB technology as well as um, some interesting new capabilities for antenna analysis that really automate that flow. So that's a, a big, big driver for us. We want to try to minimize as much of that sort of uh, that wall that can be between the engineer and the simulation tool and really make it as accessible as possible. Uh, and this is now for multi-physics simulation. When does an engineer need to be concerned about simulating for multi-physics? Well, in principle, always, but it's not in practical the, the, the way to go. But as we see our electronic components, uh, our, our phones, our, our, our tablets, our laptops have more and more capability. They go smaller uh, with more uh, power consumption. Engineers have to really start to consider thermal effects, for example. These, uh, these transistors are heating up, these chips are heating up, and they can affect the uh, performance of their electronics. And just doing the electromagnetic simulation no longer is enough. We need to understand how the heating affects the device, how it affects the material properties, how it affects the geometry, and how that in turn affects the electromagnetic performance. And so you can have a great electromagnetic simulation, but without understanding all the physics, you can end up with results that aren't meaningful when you actually go out and produce that, uh, produce that product. So it's, it's really, really important, uh, as I said, as we see more and more complexity being introduced into our, uh, our, our electronic devices. And with ANSYS, we have a, a, a really nice environment for multi-physics that we call the workbench. In, in the ANSYS workbench, you can bring all these different solver capabilities and physics into one interface and, and automate the entire flow for the engineer. So the engineer doesn't have to worry about transferring data files from one platform to another. It's all automatically handled in the interface. And that's important not only from a usability standpoint, but also from sort of a, uh, a safety standpoint. You know if the computer is dealing with it for you, there's going to be fewer mistakes. You could make a mistake as an engineer by passing the wrong file. You end up with wrong results, or you make the wrong design decision, which can be very, very costly later on in the design cycle. So multi-physics is important. And we see this uh, being a, a bigger and bigger factor in simulation in the next few years. Thank you, Matt Cummins. Thank you.